In this video, we're going to look at reduced properties of gases and the law of corresponding states. So in the previous video, we looked at critical points, and the critical point was the point where the first and second derivative of pressure with respect to molar volume was zero, where we had an inflection point in this graph of pressure versus molar volume. And that's uh, at the critical temperature. There's only a specific temperature at which this occurs where you reach what's called a supercritical fluid, where you're really neither a solid, or you're neither a liquid nor a gas. And this occurs at a specific critical pressure and a specific critical molar volume. So reduced properties of these gases are defined in terms of these critical properties. So we have, for example, our reduced pressure is defined as the pressure divided by the critical pressure. We have our reduced molar volume is defined as the molar volume divided by the critical molar volume. And you can probably guess that the reduced temperature is defined as the temperature divided by the critical temperature. So at the critical point, all three of these properties, your reduced pressure, reduced volume, and reduced temperature are all equal to one. Okay, so if we look at what we're looking at in the previous video, which is the Van der Waals equation of state, which for a real gas can describe this type of behavior. We have the Van der Waals equation of state is P plus a parameter A over V squared, V bar squared, times molar volume minus a parameter B equals RT, where A is an attraction parameter and B is a repulsion parameter. Um, in terms of the critical properties, we can solve for A and B. So, for example, we can do it in terms of the critical temperature and critical pressure for A and B. So, A equals 27RTC squared over 64, reduced, or 64 times critical pressure. We have B equals... RTC over 8PC. We can also write these in terms of the critical volume and critical pressure. So if A equals 3V bar C squared times PC and B equals V bar C over 3. <clears throat> so we can just these are all equal to each other. They're just different representations of the same values. So if we want to plug in and solve for the Van der Waals equation of state, what if we want this in terms of reduced properties instead of these regular properties? I want, I want my reduced pressure, reduced molar volume, and <clears throat> reduced temperature in there instead of, instead of these uh, typical values. Okay, so I'll substitute in. I'll have P plus, I'll substitute in a here in terms of this equation here. So I have 3 V bar C squared PC over V bar C squared. All right, so that's, sorry, P, sorry, V bar squared, not C squared. I want V bar squared. Okay. Then times Next term, I have V bar minus, and B is one third of V bar C. One third V bar C equals RT. Okay, so that's our first substitution there. So now I want to divide through, um, divide both sides by the critical uh, pressure and the critical volume. So I'm going to have <clears throat> RT over PC. V bar C, <clears throat> just reversing this equation around, equals, I'm going to divide this term by the PC to get our critical pressure out there. So we have P over PC plus 3V bar C squared PC over PC V bar squared. Okay, times and then I'm going to divide through by the molar volume term in this, the molar, uh, critical molar volume in this term, 
v bar over v bar c minus one third v bar c over v bar c. All right, so we can we can cancel out some terms. This v bar c and that v bar c cancel each other. That pc and that pc cancel each other. And now, if you'll notice, what we have is these terms over here. You have d reduced pressure there, p over pc. You have the you have one over reduced molar volume squared there. You have v bar c squared over v bar squared, which is one over v bar c squared, or one over v bar r squared. This needs to be an r. All right. So this is a v bar r squared on the denominator there. And we have v bar over v bar c, which is another v bar r on our denominator. So if I write that mess again over here, what we're going to have is P R. Okay, P R plus three over V bar R squared <coughs> times V bar R minus one third equals R T over PC V bar C. Okay, so this is where we also need to use um, solve for V bar C and PC in terms of our A and B parameters. And we can use that to replace our uh, critical and reduced temperature there. So we're going to follow a little different line for a second. We're going to have PC in terms of A and B, if you rearrange these equations to solve for PC, is, and also from the previous video, A over 27B squared. You have V bar C, the critical molar volume is 3 times B. So the product of these two, we're going to have PC V bar C, which we're trying to solve for this denominator here, equals... So multiplying these together, we're going to have 3AB over 27B squared. So this B squared and B cancel out to leave just a B on the bottom. This 3 and 27 leave a 9 left over. All right, so this is going to equal A over 9B, which if we substitute in the uh, A and B in terms of the critical temperature and the critical pressure, what we're going to have is we're going to have one ninth, then we substitute in the value of A, substitute in the value of B, but flip the value of B. We have 27 RTC squared over Okay, that's RTC squared over 64 PC times 1 over the value of B, which is 8 PC over RTC. Okay, so we're going to cancel out some stuff inside of here. Um, this 8 and that 64 is going to cancel to leave us an 8 on the denominator. This PC and that PC cancel. Um, RTC and RTC squared, cancel out the square, cancel out those. All right, and then we have the one, we have the 9 and the 27, so that's going to cancel to leave us a 3 in the numerator. So that means we're going to have PC V bar C equals, and after all the dust settles from there, that's going to equal 3 eighths RTC. Okay, so let's go back over here. So we have RT over PC V bar C equals RT over 3 eighths RTC. So that's going to cancel the R. It's going to cancel the R. This is 3 eighths is going to become an 8 thirds when it goes to the top. So we're going to have that equals 
eight thirds, and we have T over TC, which is the reduced temperature. So we have TR. All right, so that's our that's our extension there. So rewriting our Van der Waals equation of state in terms of exclusively our reduced properties, we're going to get the reduced pressure plus three over the reduced molar volume squared times the reduced molar volume minus one third equals this value here, eight thirds times reduced temperature. So this is our Van der Waals equation of state in terms of only reduced properties. <clears throat> so you'll notice What's happened here is that the A and B parameters have disappeared because we've gotten these parameters from what the value of the critical point is, and that's just something that's determined empirically. It's determined experimentally. So this is an example in terms of the Van der Waals equation of state of the law of corresponding states. And the law of corresponding states says that <clears throat> all gases at ooh, let's learn to write all gases at the same set of reduced properties so reduced pressure reduced temperature reduced molar volume all gases at the same kind of reduced state have the same properties So even though, say, for example, nitrogen gas and argon gas, they might have different values for what the A and B parameters are. Maybe the nitrogen gas has a little bit bigger B parameter because it's a little bit bigger. Maybe the molecules are attracted to each other a little more strongly than they are in argon. But the point is, no matter what these parameters are, if you look at things in terms of reduced properties of pressure, molar volume, and temperature, as long as they're at the same value relative to their critical point, then they're going to have the same properties. So if I look at um, nitrogen gas and argon gas, and each of them are at you know half their are at a reduced pressure of 0 0.5, reduced volume of say you know two, reduced temperature, whatever it is. As long as those three values are the same, all of their properties are going to be the same. Their their compressibility factor, their you know any kind of experimental property of the gas you can think of that that relates to the given state um, the, all those properties are going to be the same so that's uh, where the law of corresponding states comes from uh, and this example of just using it for the van der Waals equation of state you need something that's at least a cubic equation of state in order to represent these types of critical properties and use this but there are other types of equations of state that also represent this type of thing. Um, Redlich, Kwong, other, other kinds of equ advanced equations of state that, that could do this. Um, so that's our look at critical points and how they bring us to uh, parametrizing uh, the non-ideal equations of state for some of their given parameters and then lead to the law of corresponding states.